Oh, wait, I need to wait. Am I on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So we're testing. I showed you a little video uh, like half an hour ago. We have a new system here. So uh, Mark and Anna are here with us and uh, they are uh, figuring out everything works well. They tested it, so it should work well, but it's really the first real life. So uh, it's going to be exciting. So we're going to switch cameras. So you see me now. And then in a little bit, we will go uh, down to the table. So there's another camera here uh, on top here. So um, let's see if the comments work. I hope everything works. My iPad is now too far away, so I'm not going to see it. But I, I know for sure that I hear a scream of something not working. So I guess it is. So how are you all doing? So we, uh, you know, I've been gone for almost two months. Um, it was fantastic. But now back in Colorado, you see my picture uh, from the snow this morning, maybe. So for Friday, before I forget to say, and another thing that we didn't think about in this whole thing about organizing this, a winner. So Anna will post a winner in the comments, uh, and otherwise we just do two on Friday. So uh, we're not forgetting you for sure. Then uh, two announcements. So on Friday, Rihanna will be here live. She's going to work in the art journal uh, because I might get snowed in. And that's why we're also going to tape... Um, tomorrow for a Monday. So Monday will be a taped one, but I will be there from home. I cannot do the live from home, but um, it's also going to be my birthday. It's going to be my 60th birthday. Can you imagine? I can't, but it's really true. So um, we're going to do something special for that, extra giveaways. So, um, um, you know, we're trying to figure out, I kind of know what we want to do, but make sure you watch on Monday and ask your friends to watch as well, because it's going to be a special one. And uh, with the extra giveaways, uh, you know, uh, with Instagram and, and uh, the YouTube channel and Facebook. So everybody, if your friends are not on Facebook, they can still uh, win a prize if they are on Instagram or on YouTube. So um, I want to get started. So this is the point of uh, no return. Let's see if it all works. So I'm going to uh, show the flower dice, go quickly through that. And then we're going to... Um, I'm going to do my project from today and I think it's going to be fun. So let's turn the camera and see if that works because I don't have a screen yet. Oh, there I am. I see myself. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of me there. Yeah. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, th you know, start getting used to that. Uh, so, uh, Belinda. Yeah. Thank you. So I see Debbie here. Debbie is in, ca in Canada, uh, Belinda is here, Jessica, and so I missed a lot of comments because I didn't see all the first ones. Anita and Sandy is here. Um, Sita Guta, yeah, total so yeah, thanks Anita. It's, uh, you know, it's, a, uh, it's an improvement for sure, I have to say. It's, it looks really, uh, really nice. It's kind of nice when I talk to you that you can actually uh, see me maybe as well. So um, all the flowers are back in stock. So I want to go through the flowers first and then start my project. So um, flowers are so well received. And of course, you know that Anita, who is here, Anita Isendorn, designed the collection and kind of Josette uh, made them into dyes. So it's kind of a partnership between Anita and uh, Josette. And you love the flowers. <laughs> Claudia says, I turned 60 past year, my thoughts. And I thought, uh, you can be 60 or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, 60 is the new 40. That's fine. So uh, I start with florals number one. So th this is from the first release. And then the second release was sold out super quick. So that's now all back in stock, both in Europe and in the US. So florals number one, 1773. And I didn't bring the samples this time because I showed those in earlier uh, videos. So, and uh, what we, of course, promote with our uh, floral line is do whatever you want to do. And that's basically what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do uh, like more natural colors this time. Florals number two, 1774. And uh, our design team did a great job already. I know Annette Green has several videos already on her YouTube channel. So if you go to Annette Green's... Uh, uh, Facebook page, you can find it there, and uh, Karen, of course, and Anita. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of florals out there. 1775, florals number three. 1776, that is florals number four. Love that one. That's one I use actually a lot. And then, of course, we have the strawberries. It's almost strawberry time, you know. He not here. We're getting lots of snow, but a lot of uh, 
countries it's really spring already then the berry brands use that a lot i have to say you are a spring chick <laughs> i am yeah here the ginkgo leaves oh i should have cut some of those forgot that and i have uh, the elegant ornaments that's just gorgeous you know i think most of you have that by now because that's just a wonderful wonderful dye then the pizza box which is great for gifts of course then we go to the new one so let me put these aside so this is the new collection so this one is the one that uh, just came back in stock and uh, it was sold out i think in two or three days it was crazy so thank you for that and i uh, you know and thank you of course uh, anita and josette for such a great job so this is florals 51841 and it has, uh, so it has those two extra little florals that you can make as a center, but also as a fun little extra element here. Uh, and I mix and match the leaves as well. That's also what I'm going to do today. So uh, that is florals number five. Then florals number six, that is the hard one. That's this one. Also with the two extra little flowers. Gorgeous leaf. I actually cut that one for today. So this one, just beautiful. And you can also see that the florals, they have the, uh, the uh, embossing lines in there, the embossed lines in there. So if you don't want to kind of really work it with a tool, it's also uh, pretty without doing anything to it. This is florals number eight, 1844. Use that a ton as well. That has one extra flower and every flower also has a center. So if you're not using the stamen, you can also just put a dot in the center. Florals number seven. This one, that's a big one, you see. So you have the three leaves. And I always say this will be really nice uh, um, fall leaves as well. It has a different center here. And of course, all mix and match. And we did mix and match some florals as well. So you can use one size from one, another size from the other. And stack. it says sold out on the website. Is that, uh, Sibyl, is it, uh, is it the U.S. website that the florals are sold out? Oh, the pizza box is sold out. Oh, that's, oh, that's coming then. That is on order. Sorry. All the florals came in. Pizza box not yet, but it's definitely on order. Sorry about that. So florals number nine. And then this one is leaves and branches. 1846. That's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous set. So those are the florals. So sorry about the pizza box. I didn't know, but uh, that is on order. So we'll be coming shortly. If we can figure out when it's coming, I will let you know. Okay, so what did I do already? So I made some florals already. You see, I did this one. And I'm going to show you, uh, you know, that's my kind of my favorite to go to technique these days. Uh, uh, can we get a maple leaf dye? Debbie, I think uh, Josette is working on that, but I need to figure it out. But um, it's on, uh, I will remember that one. They're working on it right now. So I did this. I cut some. Actually, those leaves are from the uh, Sidekick collection. That is, I cut some of these already. I'm going to call them more. So these ones I cut out of an old uh, card from my father-in-law, you see. It actually has little... Uh, clippings on the back and it might come off when I shape it but you see you see it already it separates because he glued like this is from ages ago so um, that you know it's not all glued down with double-sided tape it was kind of a glue stick probably that he used so that's and I got some small flowers I got some of the butterfly wings that I showed you because I think that will be really pretty if I'm going to put this like on here so I'm going to see that that is from the butterfly po pocket I need to look at the comments a bit. Hi from Colorado. Debbie is here. Sharon. Lots of maple trees in here. Yeah. You know, I will ask. We can uh, definitely do that, of course. That is not too difficult. So, and I see Angela here. And I know you're always, uh, I was in contact with her, Honora uh, this morning. And I miss a lot of comments. She was looking for, uh, oh, if the college soft finish was in Europe. I said, no, when it's gone, it's gone. And she said she asked during the live. But, you know, I miss a lot of comments. Yeah, I live. Um, I miss a lot of comments. But um, so I got all those pieces here. I got um, this one and that butterfly wing. Let me show you that. And this one I showed you earlier. Basically what I did, I cut the wing off the edge a little bit. So put a little bit over and then you have a double wing like this. Or you can open it and you have a full butterfly. This can be nice. If you, you know, just put a little flower in the center and that's already nice. So that's uh, that's easy peasy and this i just brought this to show you because here you see the butterfly wing a floral but you might have seen this this is the wood paper one wood 
and uh, this is that butterfly pocket so that comes with the butterfly wings and I also brought the seat pocket because that little leaf that I have here comes from the seat pocket die set and of course that is one of my favorites you see me working on this one I brought it because Anna needs to take good pictures because I tried to make some pictures but they were not that good and then the paper that I'm using is this one so that's the worn wood and I use regular uh, like kind of a regular cardstock as well so let's get started so um, what I'm going to do first I'm going to color these a little bit add some ink to it and I'm going to color these that's a super quick uh, because I got my Copics out so that works really well so let's do that first then you can see how easy that is and I did not uh, do any shading on it and I want to choose between this or this color um, I think I'm going to stick with the blue because I think I like that yeah so kind of stick with the and what I'm going to do with this one by the way I did bring this from home you see it's going to be a little wreath and then I can put that candle in there so that is uh, what I am doing so let me see where well, I got my blue Copic so um, super easy and what, what I like of course about the Copic is that it's transparent so uh, when you color you actually keep seeing the lines and I think that's uh, the lines of the cardstock and I think that's a fun thing uh, and this of course is easier than when you want to do distress you can uh, add a little bit of gold on the edge if you want to with embossing powder I might do that later but you know I like my, to use the embossing powder and because I took a lot of stuff from here I really had to think this morning if I took everything to the studio because I thought I might forget something because basically I moved everything to Canada and now back and now of course I have all the mess at home okay let me see if I oh yeah all the comments are missing uh, Angela Lilia Lilia did we announce the way I think we probably announced the winner in the comments and then on Friday Rihanna will announce the next winner and then um, on Monday I will tape something tomorrow so uh, we will uh, inform you about what we're going to do special for my birthday do some fun giveaways some nice things so you see so this is I will do one more because then I have five and uneven and, and I don't know I probably don't go all the way around with the with the florals I probably make it like a, on one side or two-third or one-third just see how I build it so three one more and then this one I save for someone else and this uh, this um, little branch is, is just you know just amazing to use so this one comes in the last one with all the leaves in it and the branches and in this case I did not know how old that newspaper was but I there's some really old old things uh, like clippings or because it's really let me see if it says something no in this case it, it's about uh, worms Regenworma. <laughs> okay so put this away with my lids here and then I'm going to ink I'm going to save this one for another time then I'm going to ink these a little bit just with some edging and then I'm going to start shaping of this that's basically fast so I'm going to take the frayed burlap for that one so this stress and you see there's glitter on it so I use that with glitter as well you see and this one actually needs some re-inking for sure so I'm going to tone down that color a little bit give it a little bit of edging so it's not a lot you know it's simple so these flowers are the worn wood ones so uh, the, from the worn wood paper and this is actually what you see here is one of the worn wood papers enlarged and then made it into a background here I don't think it's this is the one I'm used here but um, could have been so just oh, I can also do this it's maybe quicker because this one is really dry so it just gives some but you see you still see the edge so how are we liking the new uh, does it work well is the screen good is it does it all look good at home would love to know and Anna and Mark would love to know if it all works well it kind of looks good on my screen I'm always iPad is always a little bit behind but um, other than that I think we're doing good 
And that little wreath, of course, uh, if you go to Annette Green, I know she made a large wreath. And I think she has a YouTube about that. So uh, make sure to go and check that out. And she did it in like really bright. Oh, I'm missing a ton of comments. Um, she's using a, a ton of like bright colors and spring colors. And so I thought, well, she did that. So I'm going more neutral. Um, and I've actually seen this online as well. Because if you're new here, you know we have the uh, Planners and Journaling group. And the Elizabeth Craft Designs family group. So if you go there, you will find all the samples and the links to the... Um, to the post as well, to the videos as well. And all the live videos that we're doing, they all end up on YouTube. So if you have a friend that doesn't do Facebook and you think she might be interested or he might be interested in seeing it, uh, go to the Elizabeth Craft Designs YouTube channel. And this will all show up, like might be a few days later, but it will all show up on the YouTube channel as well. And of course, we post a lot on Instagram. Oh, there's another thing I want to ink. Let's do some more inking with this one. I want to have a few of these in there. And when I was gone, I, I couldn't find my... Uh, I couldn't find my little thing to do the center. Like an eyeshadow applicator, basically. How many do, did I do? That's a very quick thing to do. Yeah, there. So I have... Yeah, then I have five of that as well. Let's put that away. So, and for this one, I use the uh, archival ink from Ranger, the uh, Sunflower. And this is just like, a, you can use an eyeshadow applicator. I think this is from Pam Pastels, but you don't need that. You can just do a simple eyeshadow applicator because then you can put your color in the center. And see, like this. I am, um, I see the comments rolling. Oh, so you, oh, it looks great. Oh, thank you. Mark is a genius. The view and sound is amazing. Uh, Mark is a self-educator. <laughs> Mark is a self-educator. That, uh, uh, that's always been this way. So school was, uh, he says, Mom, I can uh, learn everything from Google. Google, YouTube. So um, he is a self-educator self for sure. And Anna, so while I was gone, Anna and Mark took care of the new setup here. This looks, you see, this looks already really nice together. I have some gold leaves here and some other leaves here. So we're going to see what we're going to use. But um, you see, so that's kind of how you just, you know, I don't dare to say anymore, but it needs to be a stamp that says just play. Because uh, I actually saw it coming up on the, on the Facebook group already as well, that they, oh, I drop a flower. Um, it was coming up on the YouTube already, uh, on the Facebook group already. Somebody made a Just Play page. And I loved seeing that because, you know, I think you're starting to get it all and everybody just plays. So, uh, and then it cannot, you know, cannot go wrong. Cannot go wrong. So, um, I actually have a microphone now as well. So, that's, so sound could be better. Maybe. I don't know that because I only hear myself talking, but I will watch later. And see how it uh, all works. Oh, and this is the bone folder. So teaspoon, bone folder, ball stylus, anything you have in tools, you can use, of course. So that's all, uh, that's, you know, there's so many tools around. I know Tim Holtz has a new tool set as well. And uh, that has the ball stylus in it. And so you can use that. And we had the tools, of course. So if you had that, that's fine as well. So this is one. Um... <laughs> oh, and a small wreath. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got the small wreath. Uh, I got it a while ago. It was a pack of four or something. So it's, uh, yeah, they're fun to use. And I thought it's, you know, you can hang them, of course. But I, I like uh, I like it on my table. I will, so Anna will take pictures here. I will take a picture then when it's on my coffee table. And you can see it. That's, uh, I will make a picture with the candle burning then. So I just press this. So let's put these together already. And they're going to get a little bit more pinch, but... Um, Going to put them together first. So I'm taking the kids' choice glue, and um, I know this is uh, you know it's not available in the Netherlands, but I know uh, Anita uses tacky glue, I think, so that works. So you will find a glue that works as long as it dries transparent. I think that's uh, that's important. You see, so I could do a single one of this and then put stamen through it. You see, you can do that as well, but in this case, I'm just going to do this, and then it gets a big pinch in the center in a bit and then it turns up like a really nice little flower yeah Annette, oh there's Annette so you see Annette green here 
Annette, if you have a link to your YouTube channel, Annette, uh, please put it in the comments so people can go there or to your blog. If you have a blog where, where, you, where people can see the wreath and your YouTubes, the link to the YouTubes. So uh, you can do that. Um, please, yeah, please do so because it's nice that people can find you. I need to find a uh, little pinch here. I forgot my uh, thin. Um, this will work. Got a paper clip here. So I'm just going to pinch this here, like really in the mat, you see, and then it pinches together. Yeah, Annette, put your link here so people can find it. That's, uh, you know, because I would love, and Annette, of course, also make those succulents that you want to see. And she used the florals for that. Um, so that's just fantastic. And if there's other design team members here that have a link to their blog, that you have something to show for the florals. And of course, people, if you put your link there, Oh, Angelique, did she get it? Oh, I didn't know that. I asked her, but I didn't know she got it. So Do A Ding in the Netherlands now has uh, the Kids' Choice glue. Thank you, Angelique, for that. I'm glad I catch that one. Oh, now we need to do these ones. Let's do it right away. Because it's actually this one. I just use a ball stylus. Oh, I can go a little bit smaller. No, actually, the, good, the big one works well. This is like a heavier cardstock, so... And uh, so just, you see, and here you see the paper coming off here. You see? Oops. <laughs> it's kind of fun to see. There we go. And then I have, so I put the flowers together, and then I really, I'm just going to start building the wreath, which will be, I think, really cool. So, yeah, it's been a while since I got my Copics out. So I thought, oh, you know, that's so much easier than to try to uh, shade it like as it is but uh and i want to show you how i did with the flowers but um a lot of you have seen that already but for the people that didn't i'm going to do a quick show and tell on that so that's that one one more then i have i don't know where the other one oh here's the other one that's oh i still need to shape this one as well i see and i think i'm going to leave that you know i'm just going to leave that uh Newspaper may be hanging. If it comes out a little bit, that might be nice. If you see a little bit of the newspaper, because it's all kind of natural. And, and, uh, oh, to, uh, Annette, oh, my neighbor saw my wreath and begged me to make some, her some flowers. Annette, she can come f and visit you for a session. Well, I don't know, yes, you know, it's probably not allowed inside, but, uh, if it's nice weather, you can sit outside maybe. But, um, Oh, this one totally separates as well. I'm just going to see how that works out when I'm going to start to build it. Now, this one quickly. I'm just going to give these a little squeeze here. You see, and, and again, if you don't have a ball stylus or something, you can also do the same with a teaspoon. You see, so there's, there's so many things. Look in your uh, kitchen drawer or something, what you can use to kind of shape it. Because there's nothing, you know, this is not... Uh, a realistic flower this is not you know this is a flower that you create any way you want to create it and then at the end it gives a pin i give it a pinch as well there we go and then i will put these together and then i might go back to a leaf but uh, let's put this together first and then i have enough i can kind of to start building and then i will add the um i will add the uh, leaves afterwards maybe just kind of tuck them under. Oh, Annette, yeah. Oh, Sylvia, yeah. Annette is the one from the wreath and from the succulents. Going to offset this. Yeah, I think I'm going to offset it like that. And I can always change it around if I want to. Oh, and this one I need to kind of figure out where my center is. <laughs> I want to see how I want to do it. Oh, no, I like it better maybe like this not offset it like that in this case then i'm going to take this and kind of do this that i know where my hole is and then i already prepared so what i do i have all those stamen in different colors you know you can get them everywhere and what i do and i think i showed it last week i just put them together like because there's two sides and i kind of cut them and then glue put a little bit of kids choice glue and then you get these little uh you know few together so I made a few already so I'm going to put this in here kind of pull it through and then what I do uh, this is the warm wood so the paper is not that thick so I'm just going to 
do this to it and I'm going to put a little bit of Kids Choice glue on the back and then so the stamen stays in place and then um, you see then you have your flower so I can use that one and then I have another one I have three layers maybe I do two layers with one that I have a larger one and a smaller one so this one I'm not going to use now So is it spring already in the Netherlands? Daffodils are out and got snowed. Yeah, well the daffodils were there and then it uh, snowed, I think. Was it that? Crocuses, blauwe druifjes. All there already. Tulips. Tulips. That's, and I have another one. Oh, that's going to be a, oh, I have another one of three here. So it's going to go through here. You see, kind of just play. And shape it a little bit. And of course, you can shape it when you have um, uh, when you have it uh, on the wreath. Oh, I see somebody who bought a little flower pot. Yeah, Sylvia. That's one of the things where your Z lives in Banff. That you know you cannot buy anything. <laughs> it's uh, all touristy stuff. So I need to go uh, to uh, like a, a craft store here and get those flower pots because I definitely want to try those for sure. Okay, so this one. Where's my pincher here? Oh, let me pinch this first. What did I do in there? Did I make this one doesn't have a hole in it? And that is because if we made it as a die, it the paper was um, kind of breaking. But I did I make a hole in the one I did already? Oh yeah, I made a hole myself. Just pinch it through. So I'm going to do that as well. So the heating is going on here. So I'm going to ask if Mark uh, can turn the heat off because I'm like it's so hot here. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> so that, and then I'm just, you can do it with a, uh, like with a, like a puncher, but I think in this case I can just push through, or maybe not. Oh, my tweezer will do it. Oh, you know, we were also talking about, uh, you know what I have as well, and that will do it. Let me show you this. Because in the Netherlands we were talking about that eye craft, those cutting plates, they also have this, a retractable, uh, Pin, which is for, for your dice to clean up your dice, so I can use that. So I'm going to punch it in a little bit more. I actually think that's genius, you see. Boop. A safe, a safe one. Because they have those great cutting plates. Let me see. Oh, this one is better together. Um, so just pinch this through. A little bit of glue. And then... Um, let that dry. You see, so now you have that. You see how fun it is. Here, look at this. That's just so much fun to, you see, so you can kind of see it coming together. And I love those natural colors. You see tones together, little leaf there. The other leaves I have here, the butterfly wing. And um, yeah, so lots, lots to work with. So what I did, let me see. Let me try that. What snet weer more? Oh, snet weer. Yeah, really. Yeah, I, you know, I actually looked on online as well because I have the temperatures from here and, and of course, my hometown in the Netherlands uh, because my mom and my mother-in-law. And um, it's it's going to be rain the whole day, a uh, week, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. So we might get snowed in. You kind of might not go out because it's raining a lot. Okay, let me add a little bit of, because I need some extra leaves. So I'm going to add a little bit of embossing powder to these. Going to shove all this on the sides. Cannot wait to put this together because that will be really fun. When you see the display, it's on the side here. But when you see that, it's just, you know, it's fun. Oh, now I see. Oh, that's something new. If I do this, you see my hair. So I need to make sure that you don't see my head. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm le How many times have I done that already? Not <laughs> just a couple of times. <laughs> oh, because I, uh, I just saw my hair. So that's, you know, it's natural gray. I was blonde once, but you know, that's long gone. Um, here we go. So I want to add a little bit of embossing powder here. And of course I use that Deborah again. I'm a Ranger fan. I like Ranger, and you know, it's just there's, there's a lot of nice companies out there. There's a lot of nice companies out there. We have a great industry. Zeker de mijne wel vijf Okay. 
I don't know what didn't blow away, but something. Okay, so this will be uh, that will be pretty. And of course, I I don't want a straight line. Kind of I I dab it a little bit, so there's no st straight lines because I don't want straight lines. So I'm going to do three of those, and I have enough pieces to play with. Okay, that one. And this. And I know it's Elizabeth here, Elizabeth the Freeze, probably not yet. It's her birthday. So, Elizabeth, if you're here, uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Elizabeth. Goedenavond, Mario. Nice to see you here. And Jantje and Janice and Mario. What cutting plates are we talking about? Did I miss something? Penny, uh, yeah, yesterday, uh, Esther, did, no, on Monday, Esther did the live. But she also did it on Tuesday on the bed as, I don't know. But, and I don't have them here, I have them at home. So iCrafter has a, uh, and for people in the Netherlands, I know for sure Duoding has them or had them. iCrafter has some really nice self-healing cutting plates. So if you, if you Google iCrafter, you will find it. And, um, you have a blue mat that goes on the top and then the self-healing goes at the bottom. And it's actually really nice. And it's, uh, we were talking about it because you're, um, you're a, um, it, it is not that heavy to, uh, run your die through your die cutting machine as well. And, uh, the ladies that are behind that company, are. Uh, I actually know them from the time that they were working for Sizzix. They were, um, yeah. Oh, you have some stealth, Nelly? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know if uh, Marloes is here, but I'm pretty sure. And, you know, there will be other stores in the Netherlands that might have them already as well, of course. I just noticed yesterday that Marloes was there and she said that she had them in stock. So now I need to get my heat tool without throwing everything around. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm just going to get my tweezer. And then heat emboss this. So I made a little setup um, in Canada as well. So if I'm there, that uh, I can uh, do my life from there. So internet will be fantastic there. But of course, I will not have this professional setup. But we'll see. look at that. That's just gorgeous. So how does it work? Can I bring something up? Anna, would that work? Or would it... F no, not photo. Don't do it. We test it later. They say, no, no, no. <laughs> no, don't mess up. <laughs> I was wondering if I could move things up. and uh, But then the focus might just change. So, uh, but you can see it all in the pictures, of course, that we will take afterwards. Here. Oh, I'm melting my dryer sheet, you see? Not so close to your dryer sheet. But you know, actually, if you, if you see this now, dryer sheet, uh, I might want to do that on purpose. <laughs> because it's actually really pretty. You might want to... Does it smell? No, not really. But uh, you might want to do it outside. It might smell a little bit, but uh, I'd like a little bit burned dryer sheet and then alcohol ink or something. That actually will be pretty. So that could be a happy mistake. A little bit more. Okay, so that's... That actually looks really pretty. That and then I uh, so um, you can mute the heat tool. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can mute the heat tool. Did you did you mute my noise from the heat tool? No, not. Oh, okay. Um, so this. So uh, I have this now, and uh, I'm going to put my wreath together first, and then I will tell you. But you know, it's a show and tell, so uh, you will probably know. Uh, how I made these florals. You see that background? I did that the same as I did um, the other. Uh, I did it before, so you know it for me. But here, this is it. So uh, a thin kind of craft cardstock. I take this off. So double-sided adhesive. Elizabeth Crafts on double-sided adhesive on the top. You get this. And then we did the whole. So what I did for these flowers, uh, you know, put on a, uh, a tea bag. Actually, you can, I, I found this. That's from a handle from a uh, bag as well. So add that. Doesn't matter. So basically, you make your own paper. And then I die cut it. 
a little bit more here now because I'm going to do foil as well so this one I'm going to press this down and that's what I did but I, I did some cards kind of making my own background as well so um, so I see Beth, Cory, and Treintje, Deborah, Saskia, hi everybody and uh, you know I missed a lot of comments I know for sure so I will definitely watch this one back because I need to kind of see how this works you see so now a little bit of gold foil and then, um, and of course you can you can do this in in other colors as well. But if you work with a tea bag, it's kind of, and the tea bag is really you know I I told it several times already. It's really that I saw that from Chardine. So uh, I never did that before. And then embossing powder for the rest, and then heat emboss it, and then and then I die cut the flowers out of that. Can't we have that tool in ECD pink? Dana, <laughs> that's a, that actually that that might be a, a possible, yeah, that might be possible. Oh, scoop up a little bit here. I'm not going to um, oh, there's embossing powder under here, but that's fine. You see, that's kind of basically how I made that background. There we go. Hi, Ina and Judy. Put this away. Heat emboss this. And um, and then you can just, you can you can die cut out of this. And of course, I did some with glitter as well. In this case, I use embossing powder. And you see what the cool thing is with the tape underneath there. That actually the uh, foil is, uh, yeah, it get you know, well, let me show you. So here, I don't know if you can see, but here it's kind of bubbly a little bit. And here's still a little bit uh, that's kind of totally... Uh, flat so with the heat tool kind of in combination with that tape gives a super cool effect see so this you see so now i have my background that's basically how i did that let me put my tool away you see and then i die cut the flowers out of that you see so you see embossing powder you see tea bag and you see like uh, uh the uh, foil in there so that's what you see here and I cut the flowers out of this as well you see so I had some spots there so uh, just a super cool way oh my tea bags are wimpy compared to you yeah I you know some of them come apart better than others because uh, like this was a this was I think this is another so that's another tea depending on the tea as well that you're using but um, yeah now you can just put your flowers wherever you want so um, Oh, your Easter dyes arrived today, Julianne. Yeah, so that's uh, for the Easter uh, dye. I did some, uh, I did some like uh, slimline cards with that. So now I'm going to take a piece of paper because I'm going to use the heat tool and I don't want to wreck that really beautiful background. Uh, so challenging, challenging. It's the first time I am using the heat tool in the life. And I don't want to burn my hands. I don't want to burn the table. So... Um, I'm going to put everything aside, so I hope I don't whack it over. Put my sheet straight a little bit in the center. So let's get started with that heat tool. Interesting. I have a little, so it doesn't, I said to Anna, I need something that it doesn't fall on the, uh, on the, that, that I don't get the glue on the table and I don't, here. Yeah, so I'm just going to. I don't, I hope I don't burn my hands. Oh, here you see. And those wire, you know, the things, little strings you can pull off later as well. So I'm just going to build it like that. And before I forget, so this one, I'm going to cut the back off. And what I did forget is my Sim Holtz scissor. Let me see if I have that in the drawer here. Uh, probably not. Let's see if this works for this. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. It's just like it's easy. Yeah, and this one, because I trim these, uh, I cut these off, so I have those all ready to go as well. Uh, careful because I love your table. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, it's, yeah, the table is white. It's, an, uh, it's one of those IKEA tables. And for people that are looking for a desk or something, it's one of those that you can um, make higher and lower. So then you can work standing, because a lot of times I uh, like to work standing. Uh, and you can also put it lower, so then you can, um, yeah, put it lower, so you can sit if you want to. 
So let's put this there or this one first. So you see, I'm just going to add glue on the back. Ooh. Okay. You need stronger tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the ones I used here are regular tea, I think. The, uh, the light ones, I think it's, uh, how do you call that? A drop licorice tea. A licorice tea. And those make lighter ones. But I also had those really nice red ones. You saw me using that uh, as well. Yeah, let's see what I'm going to do. These are kind of nice in here. Yeah. And these ones, you know, I'll, I'll just shape it a little bit like this. But other than that, I don't need too much. I try not to put too much glue on that one. It's going to be underneath there. What's ha oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm not a glue uh, expert, glue gun expert at all, but I know it needs it to hold it down. Let me put this here. Okay. You see, so you kind of see it coming together. You see, you can see if you put this in there, it actually will be nice. And and so it's only paper, and you buy these for like really cheap, so it's four for not much. So and then you can with just paper. You can just uh, make, you know, a really nice present. So for this one, maybe I put one leaf here and then I can put uh, a floral in the center there. Just try this. Oh, I didn't shape these. I will shape them with my hand a little bit. I forgot to shape these. Oops. Press it down, not with your fingers else. That will hold. For sure, so leave it, oh, all those, you see, it, it all pulls down all those wires. Uh, this, oh, and then I have those, oh, so nice. Oh, I definitely have enough to play with. And then those little things I'm going to use as fillers. Yeah, cheap, cheap, yeah, cheap tea, just for crafting. I'm going to pull this off. I'm definitely going to save these. Oh, this one is almost coming off, yeah. Put that on the side. That's going there. I probably have enough for two, uh. And I think I need to be careful because I basically need to put it under there then. And I think the Kids Choice glue might work, but I don't know for sure. So just to be sure. But of course, I don't want uh, glue. Oh, I'm leaning forward again. I don't want glue showing up. There we go. You see, it doesn't need, it actually doesn't need that much. But I will put a little bit on there. Or this should go to the side if I want to kind of build a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Definitely want these small flowers there. I have this one in a smaller one. Put that there. And then a... Um, yeah, let's see. I think I have enough for two wreaths. I actually think I have another wreath with me. Because I also have two of those candle holders. But I'll see how late it is when I'm... Let's see, put this one in a little bit. And I might need to check later if I don't see glue and kind of uh, fix that. That I want to kind of put a little leaf in there. And I might, um, yeah, this one, I want to have it standing up a little bit more, not just on the inside. And then, of course, you can just shape that again when it's dry. Is it sticking? I think it is. That one, then I'm going to take one of these cute little ones. So is there not, you know, maybe, I, I, I think the kids too might work. But I don't know for sure, so I don't want to try now. You see, and here that extra little, you need a little touch of white. I kind of like that there. And then, you see, so ba basically you could all already leave it like this. I want to do a little bit more, but not too much, because I like how it ends here. Kind of, I, I don't think it needs more. I'm going to do one more leaf here, but. Um, I'm not going to build it, definitely not do it all the way around. Love those two colors. Yeah, Peter, me too. I thought that's, that's just nice. And of course, you can adjust it to your own interior. So if you have more green or more purple or more red or whatever, you can adjust it. That's, of course, easy. So you choose your own favorite colors. But uh, my table is more natural, the coffee table I have. It's an old train an old train uh, thing, thingy, thingy. That's what Esther always says, thingy. No, that's difficult because what, what do you want to put there? Do I want to put, 
you want to put a little white flower here notice too much i like this end so maybe oh okay you know what i should have done now you see i should have cut it i should have colored it from this oh i can still do that wait i can still do that because i want to have this shaped the other way around so i'm just going to do that yeah this will be nice for christmas as well eh? and thinking about that um uh, Everything from Suzanne, all our Christmas uh, things are for sale as well. So check that out. So we can make nice Christmas wreaths. So I'm just doing this. And then I'm going to use my tool for a second. So I shape it the other way around. Because I want it kind of in the shape of the wreath, of course. this so i think so far so good eh? it's working well that's good to know and tomorrow we tape so see how that all works but that should be easy peasy because it's not live then so uh there's an old steamer trunk oh that's also cool jen that's also cool here So now you see a little bit, this looks a little bit different because it's, I shaped it two ways around, but that's fine. Oops, too much glue. Oops. Stick this under here. Of course, now this dries quickly, so you kind of need to... See, like that. And then do I want to do one more flower or one more little flower there. Oh, that's kind of cute. One more little floral there. And then, of course, we need to go in threes, basically. So let's see. Oops. Almost my hands. Almost my hands. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, again, I, I miss most of the comments. There we go. Like that. And then is there space for a third one? That I then have three larger. Basically, I used that's you know. I end up using all the same uh, floral. So this is all from the one set that I used. Now, I see that. Let me see which one it is. I think it is. Wait, I need to check. Just a second. Because I cut more. But I ended up doing all the same. Uh, not this one, not this one, not this one, this one. So I used the uh, uh, three little ones, the three or two from this set. From florals number seven. That's what I used here. From the florals. And then the leaves are from another set. But just, uh, you know, I'm going to check one here. Or here. Oh, choices, choices. No, I'm just going to. No, it actually doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Oh, here. Tucked away there is nice. More time. Who is more time to craft? It's always nice when you have more time. Time flies when we're having fun. That's always true, isn't it? Oh, you see what I did? I glued my tweezer together. <laughs> Strong glue. Strong glue. Yeah, I'm going to tuck it away here. Hold it for a second so it dries. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And then I might... You see, if you get that glue on your finger, it's always a mess, eh? Do I want to have one more like these here? It's actually cute. So one more like that. And then I think we're... Thank you, Denise. Took some tiny photos in it too. Yeah, Belinda, that's also a fun idea. You know, I actually thought... I didn't think about pictures. I did think about like little uh, sayings or something that, that I could put in there. But um, I did not... Oh, you see, now I go... Why, like it pulls wires the whole way around. Here we go. So put that there. And then I think we are good with this one. Oh, butterfly wings. I want to try the butterfly wings. Is it too much? Oh. No, I think it's too much. I was thinking about it. It would be when I hold it like with the flowers. What do we think? Butterfly wings or not? Butterfly wings are not. Let's see if I put this here. No, I think it's... No, I think I should not do it. I think I should leave it like that. Yeah. 
So that's that. And I do have enough. I have 10 more minutes. Shall I make another one quickly? Because I have 10 more minutes to uh, for a full hour. Let me see if I find my... Actually, uh, Mark, it's in my other bag there, I think. If I have another one, it's in my bag. <laughs> or in the box, in the bag. Is there another one? Yeah, that's the one. Because then I have a series of two. So that's that, because it should not take too long to put another one together. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and this one is, you see, so sometimes they're not perfect round, but it's fine. So uh, then I'm going to start with that same flower. So I'm kind of uh, doing it the same, but a little bit different. So you kind of have a set of two then. That will be, this one is a little bit thinner. So it has, and that's of course because it's natural. Oh, Joseph is here. I know Joseph is working. Are you in your break? Are you in your break, Joseph? Probably then. Oh, and then I'm definitely going to use the blue flower now on here, the other one. So this is another, uh, fr this is from the first series actually that I'm using here. That is that one with the pink in it. That one. So that's a different one. Then um, definitely want to have this one in there. And I'm going to use those gold flowers. So those are the flowers that actually go with this set, the leaves. So I'm going to trim, kind of tuck that off. Yeah, from the seed packet. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. And and um, I saw, um, uh, who was it, from uh, Hobby Vision. She used the florals from, um, from Ailes and Charlene for uh, like a, a book, kind of a small bouquet. Oh, sorry, I forgot the name for a second. I don't know if you're here, if you're here. <laughs> if you're here, please help me out. Um, so that was actually really nice, I love that. Uh-oh, Mark is going to do something. <laughs> We're still good. <laughs> I need a new uh, glue thing in my... Uh, There we go. Janine, yeah, no, it wasn't she. No, not Rianne. Lisanne. Lisanne. Lisanne did it. She made a kind of a, it was in our Easter blog post. And she used the, uh, the florals from the, uh, from the uh, art journal collection. And um, she made that like into a little bouquet. And that was actually really pretty. Oh, this is going to be nice on the table. Oh, love it already. Love it already. I'm going to use that leaf. So now I only have two of these left because I had five. So now I end up with even numbers on this one. That's not good. But I can always uh, add uh, Joop. No, Joop, it was not you. <laughs> Joop is in the other building watching James. Watching James. Because the cat at Josette's place, Nelson, that, that works. But James with the life. That would be a mess. So I am uh, I'm definitely going to cut another. I'm not going to do it now, but I will cut another leaf because I kind of like how it ends. So it probably ends with two here. But um, I kind of want to have that a little bit the same. So this is a little bit bigger to put underneath here. I think that might be too big for this one. Let me see if this one kind of goes here. No, I don't like the gold leaf. Now. And that is, of course, oh, this one might work. Because this one, so that's what I do with this one a lot, kind of. Pull it apart. So this one I might end at home uh, because I want to add uh, like a little leaf or I do it after the live and die cut. But I don't want to get my die cutting machine out now. Although it's easy because I have the little leaf here. Maybe I'll do it. And this one again, this one I forgot to shape it. That's fine. You can kind of shape it a little bit with your fingers if you want to. So that's nice because it's kind of tucked underneath there. Put it underneath here so that's nice and what else do i have i have the small so i need to make another one like this because i want to have three in there so kind of kind of want to have the same numbers a little bit but just different flowers thank you penny yeah i like you know i that's you know it's it's just trying things and i always start with an idea and i know this was you know i kind of knew with this one i thought well that, that is going to be nice with the colors and uh 
you know i think it just looks cool so i use the craft color of paper this is white soft finish the white flowers or white soft finish cardstock and then craft and then of course the background with the tea bags so um let's see let me add that one no i need to build first let me see um do, 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 do. what else do i have this one but that is big because i have the three little florals there oh i have this one in the blue still so i might add that, that one there because the other one is a little bit because with the other one i only have one big flower and the other ones are small so this is going to be my glue box from now on i bet you if you have a lot of glue in there and then add alcohol ink it, <laughs> it will be a nice box here we go so that one there and then I need to do another blue one, like the other way around. Kind of add a little bit the same. Let's do that quickly. Oh, this one has uh, the newspaper on the back. Let's see, I need one without the newspaper. Oh, this one also has newspaper. Let's see how that looks. That's fine. Maybe the newspaper comes off. Oh, you see, now I'm getting all wired up by the glue. <laughs> all wired up by the glue. And of course you can um, make it in your own colors. I told you that already. That will be nice if you think you have a different color in your house. And it's not that I have a lot of blue in my house. But it will be nice. I know it will be nice on our coffee table for sure. You see because I don't want to have this this way around. Because then you see it's kind of pointing. That's just not me. And of course if you like to do that. As, if you like that you can do that. But I kind of like to have it with the flow. With the... Um, this let's see my, oh my newspaper is coming off so but then i'll just color it again that's easy peasy and then i think we are done for today and then uh, again so um on friday rihanna will do the live with the art journal on um and on monday we will tape it for monday so i will be there for the comments for sure but uh, you see my blue goes off uh, but um I won't be live live because we might get snowed in. So we're going to uh, make sure we have enough food. Now, you know, sometimes it's and also because it's spring, of course, it melts away uh, pretty quickly. But if we really get a big dump, you know, you just want to make sure that you are, you know, that we have enough food. Oh, the glue gun from Tim Holtz, leg needs. Oh, okay. I'm going to contact him. I'm going to contact him. Thank you for the tip. Thank you for the tip. Okay, so, oh, wait. Let's not mess up at the ends. Whoops. Oh, really? A non... Uh, I did not know that. But, um... I, um... I will definitely uh, go and look for that. Okay, so I'm going to do this one here. And then, uh, so again, I make another one like this. Because I, uh, if, if the one is in threes, the other one needs to go in threes. That's just me. Uh, not always, by the way. But in this case, I think it's nice. So this one goes here. And then I have another one of those leaves here. So I took that in here already. And I think... We are getting as done as we are. So again, all the flowers are in stock. So check out your local store. For the Netherlands, I, uh, so um, I know Marloes has the Kids Choice glue then. So that's nice. And um, I know the stores in the Netherlands, they uh, reordered the flowers already. So make sure to check that out. I know Hobby Vision uh, has them on order. So they probably shipped already. But again, oh, and good news. I got, that's why Honora actually sent me a message this morning. I, she probably mentioned it or already could be, but I missed it. That uh, finally the pallet arrived yesterday at Hochanda and they started to ship. So the Sidekick collection finally started to ship. So very happy with that. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. So I'm going to move this away. I'm going to make a nice display for my two. Oh, I love that. It's going to be pretty. You see, so I need that white flower here. I already see that. 
you see and this is going to have like i have another one like this so that's going to be on my table so that is it for today let's let's get the glue gun out of the way i need a non-dripping glue gun the glue gun doesn't leak that is fantastic that's fantastic okay thank you so much for watching uh oh now oh we go back to the other camera thank you so much for watching there you go <laughs> uh i really enjoyed this this one and i hope it all worked out uh well i think we didn't get any comments uh, that it didn't work so we made those beautiful wreath uh we will show pictures on our facebook of course uh, a little bit later i'm very happy with the result this was fun doing i have to say i made another really nice uh home deco project for a uh, creative scrapbooker that will be uh, in the next issue so I actually uh, you know I think boxes there will be uh, there's lots of lots of thing, uh, things to do with the florals and home deco as well so uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you on Monday uh, so make sure uh, you inform your friends because we're going to do something special uh, like a little bit more giveaways and um, Looking forward to that. So I will be in the comments, but I will not be uh, real live in front of the camera at that moment. So thank you all and uh, make sure to watch on Friday to see Rihanna doing her beautiful work. Bye bye. See you next time. I just keep smiling.